Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy, baby. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Childish. Sort of back at it again. I'm a little under the weather, so excuse my voice. Um, wanted to um, try to get a couple videos made today. Today is Friday, but you guys are going to be seeing this Saturday, I believe. Um, but I'm excited because it's uh, we're back at it again with the uh, Critical Thinking series. Uh, it's, been a, it's been a few weeks, and uh, definitely... Um, we'll be getting into a couple of different topics here. Um, uh, and they're, they're lately, oh, look at that, Hawaii worth investing. Um, that's funny, because I will be actually talking about that unit, um, in the future, or here, here in a little bit. So, um, but yeah, so we're going to be talking about, um, a little bit with regards to the Guild Wars and certain units, okay? Um, basically what I want to talk about, uh, is the value of um, random attacks and additional turns, okay? And the reason why I want to bring this up uh, today is because uh, random units that provide um, random attacks generally um, have been kind of discarded or kind of put to the side, thrown in your um, unit storage or whatever because, you know, they are, you know, they're, they're uncontrollable. You can't really decide where they're going to go. Um, and, of course, the uh, only exception, really, is our lovely boy here, Katarina, right? Because um, his or her ability, whatever, um, has the opportunity to ignore defense. So if you have the runes and, and, and strength to be able to spec him hard, you know, in combination with a Chloe or a Neil or whatever, um, you can do, you know, um, upwards of 10, 15, 20, and even uh, 25,000 uh damage uh, per hit. Uh, I've seen it go up there. It's pretty sick. Um, so, you know, but with this particular unit, obviously this is one of those that is not, um, is not kind of discarded. People use it, but it's the, it's the units that people don't really, um, the people kind of criticize and find them, um, not really too, um, useful. So I kind of wanted the, I kind of wanted to bring those units up because, um, I feel that the value in the Guild Wars, um, increases. And here's my reason. Here's my reason. Um, when you have units that have random attacks, you can't control them. Um, and they're, they're in, in essence, they're necessary, you know, they're, they're, how do I say? In essence, they are not too useful because since you can't control where they go, you can't do the necessary damage to make it viable. Um, however, because the reduce, you have a reduced amount of units in the fight, um, three units versus four, the chances of you doing more damage to one particular unit versus, um, you know, damage spread out through all increases, right? And that's just kind of basic math. Uh, if you have a unit that does four to six random attacks and you have four units, you know, there's a good chance that each of them will get hit once and, um, you know, a couple of units will get hit twice. But because there's three units, and if you have the same kind of unit that has four to six attacks, there's a good chance that everybody will get hit twice with a little increased chance that people get hit three times. So why why bring this up? Why talk about it? Because there's certain units out there that people don't really put too much um, consideration into or think it's worthy because uh, certain units within their bracket are overlooked. Or not overlooked, but they're they're overlooked because of certain units in the bracket, right? So let's go ahead and talk about the first one here, Chasun. What? That doesn't make sense. It doesn't have a random attack. Hear me out, baby. Hear me out. So Chisun. Obviously, if you have been following the game in the last month, Chisun is one of the greatest units we've had come out the woodwork. Now, we can go ahead and talk about the whole. Uh, it's it's OP. Um, these these skills, they need to be increased. Yada, yada, yada. I agree with you. I believe that they probably need to be increased. Um, you know, at the end of the day, it's not going to really matter because if you rock a violent spec, you're going to have a a relatively low amount of time, you know, before you cast it up. That being said, because there's so much focus on Chisun, they kind of put the units such as Hawaii on the side. And so people don't feel that this unit is, uh, you know, relatively good because why? It's It has a random attack, okay? Now, 
here's my uh, here's my downside. Actually, let's go ahead and let's see if I got a rival. Yeah, there we go. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in right now because I honestly I, I I thought it was five or six, um, but let's see. We're gonna just gonna test this out, guys. I forgot the uh, amount of times that this this um, skill goes off. All right, so we'll just kill this one. Oop. Look at this counter shit. All this provoking. Oh my god, am I even gonna get an attack? Oh my god. Come on, baby. <laughs> oh. That's funny. Okay, fail. You know what, dude? It's supposed. This is supposed to happen. You got. If everybody, if you're not laughing right now, you should be laughing big time because you knew that every time I make a video, right? It's I, I have to fail. Look at this. I might even die. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's so gross. Okay. Let's let's try it again. Let's try it again. All right. What a fail. All right. Let's bring a. <laughs> let's bring a. That's pretty unit that can heal, just in case. Jeez, wow. Keep on getting stunned. That's some bad luck if I've ever seen it. All right. <sighs> All right, so testing this out now. Well, hopefully, if I ever get an attack off. Don't kill her. Don't kill her. Oh, my God. When is she going to go? There we go. Okay. So let's slow it down and let's take a look. I want to say that was six. It might have been five. All right. So obviously, um, uh, we're looking at about five or six attacks, right? Um, which is definitely a high amount, right? And if you, if you have the ability, if you have the runes to spec um, this particular unit with a ton of DPS... You could take advantage of a stir skill and make this, you know, make this particular unit uh, very, very strong, right? Becomes instantly reusable if the enemy dies. So, in addition for a unit like this to have uh, additional turns or additional, you know, the ability to reset the skill and use it again, you have the ability to obviously use certain runes to. <coughs> excuse me. You have the ability to use certain runes to. Uh, Get this skill a couple more, a uh, couple more times. So, uh, I think this could be very viable. And and uh, for those that are, uh, you know, have one, don't discard it. Consider it, use it, make it valuable. Um, if you do have it, hopefully in the future you have uh, the ability to get a, a particular unit that uh, provides um, um, one or two things. An AOE defense or a unit that you have with, uh, you know, spec with violent, you know, violent um, that can, you know, take advantage of, uh, uh, you know, proccing a, a defense break on multiple units. So if you have a violent Spectarian, obviously that, that would be company handy because you can, you know, hit hit various people and then, you know, cast this, you know, cast a skill in the hopes of killing one of them and then doing it again. Right. So what are some of the units that. Um, can provide it, um, you know, off the top of my head, <coughs> excuse me, off the top of my head, I'll just name the one that I have, obviously, I have Braum, um, which is not something that you can get, um, you know, too too often, but um, Luir comes to mind, a lot of people have the water, uh, the water phantom thief, um, so, you know, an AoE defense uh, um, is very, very good, of course, if you spec the water phantom thief with the um, with a despair, that'll help as well. But if your goal is to be the fastest one and get that AOE defense break before, you know, hitting this skill, then, you know, obviously you might have to go with the swift over the despair. It just kind of depends on what your goal is, right? Okay. So, uh, the fire scan answer, yes, I think it's, uh, it, it has more viability now. It has more purpose because um, with reduced units, you can, uh, you can uh, take them, you know, take them out a little bit quicker because they're going to be doubling up on attacks uh, a little bit more frequently, all right? So again, uh, in addition to other units that provide um, random attacks, we got ourselves the Kung Fu Girls. So the Kung Fu Girls, as you guys know, have the uh, regular attack and then has an opportunity to be activated again uh, with its first skill in order to do the 
uh, second attack. So, Kung Fu Girl falls in the line of Hawaii, where uh, it is definitely one of the most, um, you know, uh, underutilized units, just because of the fact that uh, people are not a big fan of the uh, third attack. And it's kind of funny because they they word it in such that it looks like it could be an AoE, um, but they, you know, they leave out the fact that it's random when it is, uh, in fact, random, right? So could uh, could the wind or the water one uh, be more viable? I believe so. Um, the fire one, I do have one sitting in my summon hinge, um, but I'm not casting it. I'm just kind of saving it there in, in case there's another fusion uh, unit that's available. But I believe that the... That the Wind and Water Kung Fu Girl, which a lot of you guys might actually have, and might actually be just, you know, kind of sitting in the, you know, in the, in the, uh, monster storage, um, could be a lot more beneficial. Obviously, the opportunity to uh, decrease the attack gauge is huge, and because, um, you know, we're utilizing, uh, three units, we have to really kind of pick and choose what type of units that can bring the most to the table, and a lot of people are going to bring units... Um, in these fights that provide um, best beneficial effects, right? So, um, and the reason being is because we have a reduced amount of people, we have to um, do everything and anything we can to buff up those units, or you know, make them stronger. Because we don't, we can't, we don't have the additional space to, you know, bring a buffer and bring an attack gauge increaser and so on and so forth. So, you know, people would combine, you know, um, you know, skills like that. Like a good example is the Water Mystic Witch, Megan. You know, attack age increase, but plus the attack and defense buff, you know, those are going to be, you know, coming in, you know, more handy. So, uh, you know, obviously fighting against those, if you have the opportunity to remove beneficial effects, that will, uh, that will definitely help. That will definitely help. So, um, wind and water, Kung Fu Girl, uh, if you are unfortunate enough to get, you know, decent units or if you're new to the game and maybe you, you know, got one of these two new units, and you're like, you, you've you asked everybody, hey, what do you guys think of the Water Kung Fu Girl? Uh, it sucks, blah, 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 blah. It's not, you know what? I'm not, at the end of the day, I, I don't consider it to be one of the better four-star units out there, but when it comes to Gold Wars, um, random units that utilize random attacks, I think, can be viable. But of course, because this unit has its own method of... Um, being able to, you know, attack again or getting additional chances, I think that could be very, very strong, right? Because um, with reduced amount of units comes the reduced amount of turns that you're going to get. However, if you're not using, if you're not fortunate enough to get, you uh, you know, a ton of violent runes and get all your units with violent runes, then you're going to have to uh, find other ways of increasing additional turns. You're going to have to really, really look down at your units and see what, you know, what can be done, right? So I take a look at this and I'm like, wow, you know, this skill right here, if I can, you know, because I got a lot of attack runes, um, attack, crit damage attack runes that I can spec on this. If I can get his, his DPS pretty darn high, this actually might be, you know, in combination with uh, Prom. If I get the speed over Prom first, um, this, you know, this one might be, you know, this combination of these two might be really strong. You know, it might be real, real strong. So, uh, but again, of course, uh, I prefer the Luir, right? Because it has defense for two turns versus uh, one turn on uh, Prom, but... That's what I'm talking about. That's why that's why I kind of make these videos, guys, just so you guys can start thinking outside the box. Take a look at your units, um, see what you can find, and you know, see what see what kind of works uh, well with others. Because you you be pretty darn surprised as to um, what kind of combinations you can come up with. So let's talk about other units that have uh, a couple of additional turns. Now I'm not going to name them all off. Um, I've already stated the the Kung Fu Girls. Um, the, uh, what did I say? The additional turns of Kung Fu Girls, right? And then we got, um, and then of course units that have uh, skills that can be instantly reused when someone dies. Um, the Fire Sky Dancer, uh, very viable. Um, if you're fortunate enough to get Cobalt Bombers, or sorry, Brad <laughs> Brownie Magicians, they have the opportunity to um, get an additional turn. So this could be very viable. And, you know, you can obviously, you know, utilize the violent spec to increase the chance, right? But um, with uh, units like this, and that especially with units that have the, um, you know, AOEs and stuff like that, um, this could be another candidate for a despair set, right? Because if you have an, uh, an opportunity to 
have additional turns and proc a spare stun, um, that could be pretty darn strong. And of course, we're not going to go, we're not going to go, you know, pick and choose uh, every single one. Um, but as you as you guys know, they definitely, um, it could definitely be um, viable here. So here's a kind of another thing too, where you got Orion again, another another unit that's just like uh, not you know not considered to be too great compared to the fire and wind one. Um, but in addition, the opportunity to um, you know remove beneficial effects. Um, is really really good. In addition, you know the AOE, um, the additional turn, and again, if you if you decide to use this one with the spare, um, that could provide some additional suns in addition to all the um, turns that you get uh, from the first skill. So again, uh, this this video is basically just to kind of point out again the 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 value of the uh, units with random attacks and additional turns, and um, being able to you know, optimize your team to be built, you know, to build around those so that you can take advantage of some of the cool features that most people kind of, you know, throw on the sidelines. Now, if you are one of the uh, many that don't have um, any of these units that I've mentioned above or other units that provide these kind of things, how could you go about providing the additional turns? Very, very simple. Start farming dragons for these two runes, Violet and revenge, all right? So as we've talked about in many videos, um, the opportunity to uh, to get additional turns um, is extremely strong in the end game, and then the opportunity to counterattack um, is extremely strong. So um, pretty much, could you, you know, who's the best recommended units for use of violent? You could make a reason for anybody to use violent, truthfully, truthfully. Um, however, with revenge, uh, my recommendation, as well as many, many others out there in the game, I'm sure there's a few videos out there doing this, but my recommendation for uh, units such as this, utilizing uh, Revenge Runes, is utilizing it on somebody that provides a very substantial or a very important kind of hostile effect. So uh, the first one that comes to mind is a defense break. So you will know right away that you know most people... Um, that utilize uh, light units such as Darien in the end game are going to be are going to be trying to incorporate revenge in here, right? And if I had honestly, if I had six star revenge runes um, that can I, I could fit all the way across the board, I would do it. I have no problem um, taking this unit all the way around with revenge runes uh, because everyone you know uh, utilizes certain units that provide uh, AOEs that hit two to three times, so the chances of uh, the revenge going off you know increases substantially. But uh, obviously, I believe that the uh, ability to provide a, a violent set um, in addition to revenge is pretty darn good. So um, again, if you don't have the if you don't have the ability to um, you know if you don't have the units that I've said it before or some of the units that are listed that have um, additional turns, then um, how do you get that on your units to make your Guild Wars fight um, even better? Is uh, you know start collecting the violent runes. And the Revenge Runes. And both of them, uh, as you guys already know, are available in the Dragon's Lair. So do what you can to farm that up. But um, if you are one of the fortunate few, um, you will find them uh, as such. You will find them here and there in the uh, Magic Shop. As far as the Violet Runes. The, they have not implemented the other, the newer runes, like the Shield Rune, Revenge Rune, um, Will Rune. They have not implemented those in the Magic Shop, which is kind of surprising to me. Um, but I understand because they're um, pretty darn strong. Hopefully, they do it in later. But uh, at least you have the opportunity to get the Violet Runes, and I think the Violet Runes are going to be uh, the most important one to grab, uh, you know, early on. So uh, that is pretty much it, guys. Again, um, thank you all for tuning in. I hope uh, that this uh, information kind of, if it didn't help you, it at least gave you an opportunity to stop what you're doing, take a look at all the units you have, and find out um, the best way to create synergy because as you guys have known I think it was like around episode 10 of my critical thinking center uh, series episode 8 or 10 I talked about how you really have to find synergy within your team in the arena to be um, to be uh, successful and now with uh, 3v3 guild wars versus 4v4 uh, it has to be even more on point so um, how do you take advantage of that uh, you know taking you know getting taking take a look at some of those units that 
may not be considered all too great and see if you have other units within your um, list of monsters that can that can work well right so um, you know I you I, like I said in the future you might see me go um, Jameer with the speed lead and the prom with a very high amount of speed despair and then uh, bring Hawaii in with the with the random attack and hopefully I get him down right but if I don't because I'm I was fortunate enough to get the wind dragon right I have the ability to reset and do it all over again and do it all over again so again you it, it all depends on the units that you got and understandably so you're not going to have all the units that everybody else has but it's, it just comes down to not about what you got, but what you make of what you got. All right? All right. It's your boy Childish with Childish Place. Check it out. Take care. We'll see you next time. I'm out.